Right, spraying today. We have got to do some weed killing. Better check this over before we start doing it as well. Because it'll be the first time I've used it for a while. So we'll get round. Get some uh, weed killer in. And we can go and do all that that rape. Because it's got a fair amount of weeds in it. So let's get her loaded with this. I should do it. Right, there we go. Right, where can I... Where's the best place? Down there, I suppose, is the biggest room we've got. I don't know what David's doing today. I haven't heard from him. Uh, after his... Strange analogies on who people are and things. I don't think I want to hear from him. <laughs> they all look good. None of them are broken. All of them are still on there. Let's just check the lines. They're okay. Let's check the other ones. Oh, there's a bit of cracking on that one. I think it'll be okay for today, though. Nothing to worry about, it's just a hydraulic pipe. We should be fine then. Okie dokie. So yeah, we're gonna go and spray these fields off. And then uh, that that's pretty much all we've gotta do, farm sort of job wise. We got a few loose ends we need to sort out, a bit of repair work I need to do on the chicken pen. He's taken the trailer wherever he's gone to. Uh, I was going to start down the bottom, but I think I'll start at the top. That way, if we need to fill up, we're closer. Right. Yes. Weeds. Let's check it. Let's have a look. Oh, we got some slug damage. So we could do with some pesticide as well, really. Yeah, well, maybe we'll go with some pellets or something instead. Damn things. Should be a nice relaxing day. I like nice relaxing days. Right, let's get this done then.
So let's fold you up and I'll take you home. <coughs> I'm quite happy I didn't sell this Massey because it's very handy just to use it as the spray and tractor and then every now and then we can use it for little bits and pieces and some kind of haulage jobs and stuff like that. That's not it's not a bad tractor at all, so she can she can hang around for a while. It's nice just to have that spare tractor, especially if you, you know, if you get one go down. Not that David would use it anyway, but it's just handy, and I like it. So we'll, um, I think we'll, we'll empty and wash out and everything. And then we can... I don't know where he's gone. But he's not here. Right. That'll take a minute to empty itself, so we'll just leave that to it. And then we'll wash it out around here. So, yeah, we've we've got pretty much everything done, ready, sorted, ready, battened down for the winter. We're not putting anything in yet. Just checking this over. I know what he's like, he has a tendency just to chuck stuff in a shed and leave it until next time and then not bother. Mad panic, you know? Mad panic when it start doing stuff. He's a right royal pain in the... Uh, who's this? Oh, it's him. It's him. Hello? Him? Yes. Where are you at then? I'm in the yard. Which yard? Nope, I'm not going through this again. I'm up at the... I'm up by my house. Alright, okay. Um, would you mind coming and meeting me? Meeting you? Oh, I. Well, where are you? Um, can you remember that farm down... It's, it's right uh, opposite the Majors. Uh, vaguely. Ah, can you, can you come meet me down there? What are you doing? Ah, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, if you, just come, just come and meet me, and then, um, and then we can discuss some things. Discuss some things? Oh, aye, if you have to plan. I don't like it when you've got plans. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, John. It's a mastermind of a plan, and you're going to love it. I don't think I am. I don't think I am going to love it. David and Master Plans. It just doesn't... doesn't seem right, mate. Aye, it'll be right, John. It'll be right. Just... just... get yourself down here. Are you there now? Oh, aye. Come meet me now. Right, well... Yep, okay. Alright. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, then. I don't like David's master plan ideas. It's just not... It's just not right. I'm going to go put this away and then I'll go down to the Lamb River, I think. Right. Farm opposite the Majors. Now, I know that there is a road. There it is. And then that's the farm down there. So what could his plan be? What the... What is... Oh. What is that? 
Oh, hey, that's my new purchase. Purchase for what? Digging. Well, I know what it's for, but why do we need it? Well, you don't need it, but I do. What do you need it for? Well, you know that pond in the field behind my house? Yeah. Well, it always overflows, don't it? Well, it, it does flood a bit, yeah. Well, I thought I would dig a trench. A trench? Oh, aye, a trench. And then it can run off into somebody else's field. <laughs> yeah, it will. Yeah, it will do that. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you're right, it will. Don't you think it will upset them? I don't care about that, John. Why would I care about that? I just don't want the water in my field. Okay. How much did it cost? Oh, don't you worry about that. I got it covered. It looks expensive. Oh, aye. It's a deer, isn't it? Yeah, right. Okay, why are we here? Right, got an idea. You have to jump over. Gate's locked. <sighs> Right, what's this what's this idea then? Well you see this would make great storage. It would make great storage. For what? Bales. Bales, yeah. Well I thought the idea was we was gonna um convert yours. Oh I no, mine will still be converted. Just, um, this will be for other bales. Other bales? Oh, aye. Well, you see, what I've gone and done is I've signed a contract. A contract? Oh, aye. Yeah. A contract for what, David? Well, you see, the government sent me a letter. Saying that they was, they was guaranteeing lots of money. Lots of money. Uh, well, you know, va vaguely lots of money. A anyway, it's uh, biofuels. Biofuels. Oh, hi, biofuels. And um, what they're doing is they're supplying the machinery. Right. And we plant it. In our fields. Right. And then we harvest it. Right. And then. And then they buy the bales off of us. Right. You don't sound too convinced, John. Well, say something, then. I don't... I don't really know what to say. What contract have you signed? It's... It's a guarantee contract. A, a guarantee for what? That they'll buy the bales. So what is it, a year or what, two? Ten. Ten? Oh, I. Ten years. A ten-year con... You've signed a ten-year contract. Oh, I. And what fields are we going to use? We've already got them earmarked for stuff to go in. It's already, you know, what, what? <sighs> well, this farm comes with fields. Yes, but we have to buy the farm. <sighs> we don't just have the money to buy another farm, David. It doesn't matter whether you've signed a 30-year contract. Should I have got 30 years then? No, you shouldn't have even got one year. You should have spoken to me about it before. Well, you know, it sounded like a really good idea. I... <sighs> Anything that the government offers us is a sham. It can only go down the sewers quicker than it came out like a bloody rat... Oh, just... 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 Ugh! Oh.
This is looking rather splendid. I've just got to, um... Oh yeah, George is here. That's alright, then he can give me a hand in a minute. I need to, um... Um... Yeah, I, I, um... Uh, right. Um... Let me assess the situation. Um... Uh, right. Yeah, George. Ah, do there, David. How's it going then? Well, uh, you can 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 you uh, uh can you watch me out of here? I can do. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. No. Um, how are you reckon you're gonna do that then? Well, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, and then um. Yeah, you know. Right. Oh. So what is it? What what is it that you uh, what is it that you're actually doing, Dad? Uh, you see, um, well, I, I'm 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 digging a slip, a trench, so the water can run off when it overflows. You know, when it floods. I do. I see what you're talking about. Um, we reckon you're going a bit too deep there, are you? Too deep. What do you reckon? What do you mean too deep? Well, you know. Water's coming up, isn't it? Aye, because it's too... It's, there's too much water in there, isn't there? You don't reckon there's something to do with the water table being a bit on the low side, don't you? The water table? What's that got to do with it? Anyway, did you bring that chainsaw? I want to chop this tree down. I do. Uh, get the old digger out there first. All right. Yeah, I'll do. I'll get the. I'll get the. Uh, I'll get her out first, and then. Uh, and then we'll chop that tree down. Oh yeah, I reckon you want to do that, there, David. Well, it it's it's in it it can't stay there, can it? Uh, right oh. I'll get this out. Ah, see, I knew I could do it. Everybody doubting me and my skills and my brilliant ideas. I'm not stupid like everybody reckons I am. I don't get that, John, and why he just stormed off like that, you know? Yeah, it's a bit dirty in here, isn't it? Anyway, let's, uh, I want to chop this tree down. Here we go. See, I told you I'd get it out. Ah, uh, indeed you did. Indeed you did. Right, where's the, uh, where's the chainsaw then? In here, in the back it. Right. Right then. Let's go and chop this tree down. Ah, uh, David. Yeah, oh, oh, I what? What's that? I don't know if you want to cut that tree down there, David. Well, why not, man? Don't you reckon you, uh... I reckon I what? I, I can't... I can't hear you. I'm gonna chop this tree down. Ah. Right. Um. I uh, see, I told you to bunch up that tree down there, David. 
right. And also, you've dug your slip uphill, not downhill. Hey? He wants to be going downhill. Oh. Down there, look. Uh, am I? I I see what you mean. And it's too deep. Right. Okay.